Hello, everyone. Welcome to our first podcast of 2022. Woohoo! Man, it's crazy. I feel like we haven't done this since last year. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, wow. Well. Honestly, it does feel weird. It Time feels flies. It feels different. It feels weird. We're officially into January 2022. We made it. We made it to 2022. We I didn't make it to celebrate at midnight on New Year's Eve. Did you no. make it to celebrate at midnight? The weak ass fell asleep at like 9. I told you I was going to. And and I know, but you said <laughs> you were going to set your alarm for my kiss. Oh, I, I apologize. I was tired. So I had to kiss Opie. <laughs> Opie was my New Opie Year's Opie loved date. it. Opie loved it. <laughs> Cam, did you make it to midnight? Yeah. You did? I you up. Yeah. What, right. what did you do to stay up so late? I stayed up late. I was watching Encanto. Encanto. Oh, we were talking about that. A lot of people recommended that on the podcast that day, and so yeah. then watched it. Uh-huh. Okay. Give us a review. It was good. It felt really fast, but... You know, I have, just haven't watched a movie in a while, <laughs> so that's probably why. So it was a good movie, so it was it like, where's the character development? Really? You thought it went, you know, zoomed past some important stuff that you thought should have been there? or? Well, no, I'm saying just because I've watched shows that go in depth of everything. Just because you're watching a 600 episode Yeah, TV probably. Show. So it seemed fast. Yeah. I don't blame you, and it was probably really good. Okay. We have some lovey cats in the house tonight. Some lovey kitty cats. You didn't kiss Alfie? They were locked in the room. So now they they really want attention. I celebrated the new year. I rang in the new year on Animal Crossing uh, at 9 p.m. our time. So midnight East Coast time. Luckily Uh, that I was done. I didn't have to stay up till midnight. I'd already rang in the year. I'd counted down with my animals. My yeah. sister's animals on her need a husband when you have little cute whatever they are. I was up so Animal early. Animal Crossing characters. But I was thinking to the new year. I started thinking about it, and I always think about it. Every year, there's been years where we've done toast or stayed up till midnight, but every year we always put, even though I knocked it down today, we always say, this is our year. We had it on our little letter board. This is our year. Now our it says, pin- this is my year. This yeah. is your year. Our, pin- our Pinterest tree mom letter board that's around. We put it on January 1st last year. We put, this is our year. Naive we were. And it was up every single day of last year. We didn't even change it for Christmas. Normally I change it for Christmas. <clears throat> nope. And there's going to be our year this year. For sure. <laughs> so we're leaving it up. Even though I knocked it down, like you said, and it said, this is your Something's gonna year. Something's going to happen with my ear. This is... You are ear. It's either going to be our year or I'm going to get a new ear. That's right. Which I'm totally okay with. The year of the hearing aid. We are going to get it so Wayne can hear. (laughs) If I had a new ear, it could be our year. That's true. It could be. (laughs) Uh, That's something we always say. And we kind of laugh about it because we're just like bad luck schlep rocks. We literally just can't have anything go our way. Seriously. And then on the bathroom, what does it say? A stupid thing you used to always tell me when I was in sales. You got this. You got this. I you always said this. this to you. You got this. You yeah, got this. Yeah, and I never got it. You never freaking got this. <laughs> I said, stop saying you got this. I was trying to be inspirational. I guess I tried to say it to Camden, too. You got this? Yeah. Come on, you got this. I like the jinx. it. The jinx, isn't No, it? it's not. You got this. And then you fail your test, don't you? No. <laughs> well, I mean... She yeah. fails your test, but it's not because I said you got this. <laughs> I yeah. say I believe in you, and I believe in you, too. It's encouraging. I hope so. I really have a lot. This is going to be good. our year, and we got this. We got this. Um, yeah. So what do you got this year, babe? In general, we vaguely touched on some of the stuff um, in the last episode. We were just generally talking about New Year's. But, like, what do you got? What's this year? What you got? What do you mean, like, Do you do concrete? Yeah. Do you do resolutions? Do you do concrete goals? Or do yeah, you but say I never just, follow through with them. You never follow through? I don't think so. There's one thing you followed through with last year. Okay, so the one thing that I definitely followed through with, and except for like ten minutes ago, thanks to you. Well, no, that's no that, not, 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 diet. not, not, that doesn't count. I mean, no regular drinks. That doesn't count. That was part of a holiday punch. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, I mean, it'd be like drinking apple it's cider. It's when you need a chocolate cake at Christmas. It's like it's Christmas. No, right? it, yeah, no, that doesn't count. So I haven't had um, a regular soda, and I used to drink regular soda like insanely. Yes, and like two or three at a time. Um, I don't know how much better it's for you, but I switched to diet. It's significantly better for you. There's issues with it in terms of carbonation is bad for your bones and your teeth and whatnot. But in terms of the sugar 
consumption, which is even worse for your teeth and your body. I'll tell you this, it's much easier to spill. You know, I spilled my diet. Oh my gosh, remember how angry I would get so mad at you. (laughs) Camden knows this too. It'd be cherry coke all over the ground. The spilling of the diet pop is not nearly as bad. Or the spilling of the Gatorade. You would spill Gatorade all over my carpet. And I'm thinking, kicked out the house. Gatorade's bad. Gatorade's basically wine. Yeah, it's terrible. But sugary I, Gatorade. But sugar-free Gatorade might not be as bad. It wouldn't be as bad because it doesn't stick. And once you get the sticky part, that's when it attracts the dirt and yeah. the extra nasty. And it's harder to clean. But, so yeah, so that I is good. I haven't had any uh, regular soda. I do plan on eating better this year. Yes. Know, and Except for like holidays. And um, I, like I said before, I want to just put all my focus into our career. And That's make right. it happen. And just really push on everything. Yesterday, if you didn't see me on the computer, I was writing a, making a beat. Oh, uh, I was wondering what you were doing on the computer. Oh. Look like Eminem. You're like, mm-tum, 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 you know, getting the beat going, putting the words with it, seeing if it works. I think wow. I got it. I think I got wow. it. Wow. I promise you guys, the end of the month, it's going to happen. Yesterday, I did nothing. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. I, I really took it to heart that, like, that time in between Christmas and, like, you know, when you go back to school or when things start going around that you just need to, like, veg out for a bit. And, like, yeah. I needed a mental just nothing day. Well, today we did take down the Christmas decorations. We started taking down the Christmas decorations. How weird is it that, like, when you first put them up, you're like, oh, wow, everything is so cluttered in here. Like, it looks so weird. Like, visually overwhelming. Yeah. And now I'm like, it looks weird. And now it's like It looks bare. bare and strange. We need stuff. Well, you got about 30,000 plants everywhere else. We'll just put need them Need more they, plants. You remind me I need to water plants. my plants for the first yeah. time this year. They, I need some, some water for these oh, babies. Don't you have plants? For I have room? more plants. We have to put some plants in Camden's room. I have my baby plants over there. Are they there. just dying or are you watering them? Which ones? The ones that are supposed to go in my room? Well, I need to water them again, but they're still alive. Oh. They're resilient. Where are they? They're on my dresser. Oh, okay. And I have my baby plants over there, ones from cuttings. Oh. I'm going to be propagating plants this year. You put the, the plants on top of the, above the TV. Yes. My, look good. my goal is to get some more rare plants this year. I don't oh. know if that's really a goal. My goal is to not see another balloon for the rest of my freaking life. Too bad. They're staying up. <laughs> I said I'm keeping these balloons up till the end of January because why not? crazy this year. I like the balloons. I did Bang like the balloons. for balloon. your buck. The yeah. balloons are cool. And the garland's a little annoying, the thing that we do every other year. So this is a little The tassel easier. garland. The tassel thingy, yeah. It's like it gets tangled and falls. Well, you just, I love how Wayne just like doesn't air his grievances about Wait, all these what? things until tassels? later. You know, the one that goes back and forth, kind of like I know, but I always have tassels and they're perfectly fine. Yeah, not a, the problem is not the tassels. I'm not a ceiling kind of <laughs> it's guy. It's the user error. It's, it's the man. The, it's the person putting them up. You just, okay, so one year we need to let you do the decorative guidance. Yeah, right. No. Not gonna have nothing's gonna happen. Oh, but we're gonna have, we're gonna have so, a real tree. Okay. And that's it. Okay, that's fine. We could do it the way you want to do it. So, I mean, I have no problem with that. Babe. Little things here and there. Okay, we'll just we'll do it. I wouldn't. It wouldn't be bad. Cool. We could definitely do it. Let's do it. All right. One year, Wayne will be the creative director. No, oh, no. I am oh, the decorator. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, I am oh, the decorator no. next year. Uh, you yeah, can do it. has a freaked out face. There's certain little things you do like, though. I'm not buying that you hate all of it. Oh, I'm doing the freaking spray snow all the way. Spray snow on the windows. Be there for weeks later. Yeah, okay. As long I, as you clean it up, I don't care. They don't sell it anymore because apparently nobody likes it. Because it's misery in apparently, a bottle. spray cheese and spray snow are out, and I like both of them. <laughs> Last year, there was one thing I did that I said I was going to do at the start of the year last year. And I actually did it every single day of the year. You're so clean. I am so clean. So fresh and so clean. Yeah, crazy. I showered every single day. And I, I know some people might think either, oh, yeah, everyone showers every day. Or why would you need to shower every day? That's excessive and a waste of water or whatever else. But I think if, like, you just kind of struggle with certain things in life, like depression or whatever, if you do, like, one thing a day and you said, at least I did this one thing, then it kind of helps you get through the day a little bit. And that's kind of how I saw it. Makes sense. Because there's a lot of things that help. Uh, sleeping well and showering and working out and doing all these other things. But it's so hard to do everything else. The showering, I could just, you know, five minutes, you're done. 
I have showered, by the way. So if you listen to the last podcast, I've been on my three-day mark. I showered yesterday morning. So I just want to put that out Did there. Did you shower on the first? <laughs> Did you shower on the first? Was yesterday the first? Yesterday was the second. I showered on the second. No, I was going to say you didn't. I can't do it now every yesterday single day. Yesterday morning. What was yesterday morning? Oh, yesterday morning was the first. I so today is the first. second. Are you going to do it every day? I haven't showered for a whole year. <laughs> Are you going to go for the every day? No. No? Why would I do that? Why not? Not necessary. Because you don't ever work up a sweat? Yeah. I, what I do is I shower when I get up in the morning so you don't think that I was sleeping the whole time. It's like, no, I was in the shower. I noticed that. <laughs> I noticed that. I was feeling too sucky to start any shower. resolutions. Well, you don't have to have like a I resolution. I couldn't work out or anything, though, is what I mean. Well, I know. We have Norman. Norman's putting well, a little... Well, no, not just that. I mean, like, I felt like I would have thrown up. Probably. Oh, Cam was having a little bit of stomach food TMI stuff going the... on. But... The camp, it's not like you have to have a New Year's resolution that the second, like, January 1st starts, that then you're like, all right, time to burn all the sweets, time to whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it doesn't have to be like that. That's my resolution. Productivity. It, it, yeah. It's not, I mean, like, on everything. Just, I still need to get up early. I suck at that. Yes. And I need to go to bed earlier in order to get up early, obviously. Yes. Going to bed at when 2. When school be starts, at eight, but... I want to be organized. Which Cabin. means I, because I got that calendar thing for Christmas. If you didn't know, my mom got me one of those aesthetic TM calendar whiteboard. That's things. aesthetic TM. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, pretty much anything you buy from Urban Outfitters, all the teens. Oh, I saw want. that at Target. Oh, it's oh, Urban it's from Urban. Ooh. Um, a dry erase Even board more calendar magnet thingy majigger. Yeah, that you can put Polaroid photos on. <laughs> you can do anything with it, but you yeah. can also write your schedule or mm-hmm. goals or big dates coming up for the month. Mm-hmm. You only have to fill it in 12 times a year. That's not very many. Yeah. Uh, as we were, you, well, you want to be more productive, right? That's your main thing, kind of mm-hmm. like dad. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, we got to work this next week on setting our kind of, what do you call it? baseline or foundation for then getting into our the rest of our year so as we take down decorations we clean we figure out what other christmas randomness we have around get camden settled up for school get ready to start in with the dad jokes again all that good stuff laying a foundation yes i can do dad jokes again (laughs) ha 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 yeah, we have been on a dad joke hiatus. Camden actually hasn't heard a dad joke this year. Mm-hmm. Do you have one? No, that's true. <laughs> Do you got one? Can you give her one? <laughs> Not off the top of my head. Oh, well, then you're I, off I your game. I have a really good one, but I want to wait for a video. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't okay. want to put it on podcast. Okay. He's okay. He's Too holding out for you. Too good to waste. Jeez. Okay. Well, for me. It'll never live up to the hype, babe. Exactly. <laughs> never hype it up. You're like, ah, mm. whatever. <laughs> One thing I started doing, because we were talking about on the last podcast, so like, what was the best thing you watched all year? Or what were the good shows you watched all year or did? Or your favorite things of the year? I'm not, like, really into journaling or whatever it's called. So I literally just texted myself on the phone yesterday. I wrote January 1st, and then I just wrote what I did. Like five things that I did. Not that they were exciting or interesting, but five things I did, the show I watched, and texted it to myself. So I think I'm going to do that every day. That sounds fun. I mean, literally just like a list of five things. Like I got up, you know, I made scones. I watched Survivor Season 28, hung out with Norman, uh, whatever else, showered and did all these other things. And then that's it. That was my day. Yeah. So that's pretty easy to do. Today I can say, oh, recorded the podcast. Eight canes. <laughs> I don't know, you know? So you at least kind of have a general idea instead of having to write a journal or a diary, you just literally list. List things you did. Pogs. <laughs> what? Pogs. What? Pogs? Yeah, we played Pogs. Today we played Pogs? No. Oh. <laughs> what is Pogs? <laughs> Wayne's in his old world. <laughs> I'm literally saying things I did today, things I did yesterday. Well, it was the same thing. I play with cats. Okay, yeah. And I'm trying to make this cat, which I'm not good at, but you're really good at, uh, friendlier. Because they they feed off an energy, and when someone's energy is hyperactive, and I, then they're I'm hyperactive. not energetic around him anymore because he scratches too hard. <laughs> My hand looks like Freddy Krueger, and I got in a fight. 
it's kind of like you know how dads are with kids you know you see the dads are like throwing their kid around mm-hmm. in the air or they're doing all the yeah. crazy stuff that's yeah. just like yeah i guess this is how kenny is wayne is too with he the can't cats. be that way with norman yeah, that's no. why he likes girls we're very chill with him <laughs> yes norman likes us Right. And Norman has his first vet appointment on Tuesday, so in a couple days, or Wednesday, Tuesday, and we'll get to find out if he can be our forever cat, if he gets a clean bill of health. We're hoping. Fingers crossed for Norman. Mm-hmm. He seems like he's just yeah. fine, but uh, like once you get the it. test. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, I'm so happy he's off the street. He's off. It was 20-something degrees last night. He's inside. Yeah. And no matter what, if for some reason something happens where he can't be with us because he has something contagious to our cats, he will be able to get a forever home I mean, now. No matter what, he'll have a place. Exactly. Like, mm-hmm. You know, whether it's adoption agency or yeah, you know, something, he'll be n- not on the street. He's rescued. Also and being he's attacked precious. by crazy cats. What a sweetheart. We did ask some people. I don't know if Camden can pull it up, but we asked some people last year. Or if last year they had resolutions or if they even believe in resolutions or whatever else. What were the resolutions? Did they fail spectacularly? What uh, happened? Let's see. This year or last year? I'm last year. Last year's. I don't even remember what my resolutions were last year. You don't really. I mean, I think you were like, I'm having a million. I failed. You were like, I'm having a million on whatever. Oh, yeah. But that's not a resolution. I mean, like an A goal. Like, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I, I don't think those things can be resolutions. There's certain things you have to do in order for these to be accomplished, which I, is my goal this year, and that's to actually make goals and yeah. like set I like that idea better. The goals that can be happened. Like last year we said, I know we said this in January. It might have been January 1st. We said, by the end of this year, we're getting rid of our storage unit. Yeah. That was one of our goals, and we got rid of our storage unit. We did. We haven't dealt with all the stuff. Yeah. But we don't have to pay the storage anymore. We're backyard hoarders. Now. <laughs> but instead, you know, paying, yeah. instead of doing that, so at least it's we win. did something. It's a lose win. Yeah, we've done various little projects around the house we said we were going to do. So maybe we need to sit down this week and then set our specific goals of things yeah. we want to do this year. I could write an aesthetic calligraphy. You could. You could do one of those aesthetic lists. Mine will probably be more like a, a text to myself, but. It'll still work. A text or yeah. doctor handwriting? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, uh, randomly on a post-it yeah, note, and no. then I lose it later, um, and then I find it. I just want to get good grades, A's and B's. Can I don't want to say, say straight A's, okay? Stay on top of your work. It doesn't have to be a grade. Yeah. It doesn't have to be, I have to get a, this grade, or I have to do whatever. I just want to have no it's missing literally assignments. Just being, I'm just doing my work when it's due. You I just will, don't want to have missing assignments. You will find that then you have good grades. I want to try to have not later missing. That's a good goal. That's my goal. Okay, so our question was, did you stick to your resolutions and what were they? Uh, the first person said no. Okay, yeah. It was to reduce caffeine intake. Ooh, it's something I just I can't. don't know. I don't know. I don't think, caffeine doesn't seem as bad as for it's, you as it is worth it to get you rid of it. No, Cam, we say that because we're addicts. Oh. I don't think it's necessarily good for you. I don't think in any scenario people can really argue. Alcoholics are like, yeah, it might kill me, but it's worth it. Yeah. Wait, Um, but like, I know it's not good for you. If you're dependent on something and then you feel like your life without it would be really Also, I realize I don't think I'm dependent on it because I haven't had coffee or Pepsi in a few days. You haven't had any headaches or residual feeling lethargic Well, I feel like crap, but I don't know if that's (laughs) part of anything. Uh, One year I said I was going to try to cut back on Diet Pepsi, remember, or caffeine. It didn't work out. Do you remember right? how angry I was? I felt that terrible. That was oh my God. I will blame it. I will blame it on the caffeine withdrawal. <laughs> I genuinely feel like no, it yeah. has like you're, you're little to no now. effect on me, but like in a good way. I think it just tastes really good. I mean, it does taste amazing. I couldn't give it up. I probably should reduce. And I yeah, like we the learned aesthetic. this from how much I realized actually how much coffee I'm drinking. I probably should reduce. I like the aesthetic of waking up to coffee. So they didn't survive, huh? First day, no caffeine. Second day, their headache was so bad. They're like, nah, 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 nah. This is not. Yeah, working. maybe. <laughs> Someone said, nope. Be more healthy. I did really good for about fifty percent of the year. So I guess that's better than zero percent yeah. of the year. Yeah. But then I go like full in for the next, so then it just totally evens out. <laughs> Wow, someone quit smoking. Yay, yay. That's and started good. a big weight loss. Do you? Wow. That is a huge accomplishment, especially like with everything stressful going on. 
That is a big accomplishment. Are you not saying Multiple names? people go smoking. Do people want their, hand, their names said? I don't know. Do they I, want shout outs or do they want to uh, know this? I don't know. Okay. Thomas said quit smoking. Nice. Yeah. That person will save so much money. And then Roy... This is why I don't say names. Okay. Roager. Roger? Roger. Roger said, not at first, but it happened later to quit smoking. Good. Yeah. Honestly, good for these people. It'll be life-changing. <laughs> this is what I used to think. And this is Kristen Lee said, I refuse to gaslight myself into moving the goalpost of my personal expectations. <laughs> I know it's so fun, though, to think about improving. Isn't it a little bit? Isn't yeah. it really fun when you start thinking, if I just made this change and if I, like, was strong enough to keep this change for this amount of time, then things would be amazing. Yeah, I know, but then... It's it, fun to think about. We but do that. Then, Every time we do stuff, we, like, work really hard to get the house clean or we work on all these projects. Maintain. Or we don't eat fast food or we... Whatever else. We're yeah. like, wow, we feel amazing, or this looks amazing, or wow, how fun is this? And then we're like, and eh, <laughs> no. It works. The hard part the is backslide. It's literally walking up a hill with gravel, and you just keep exactly. falling back down. It would yeah. be fun to think, hey, if I stuck with this mentality for a whole year, it's a year's not terribly long. How hard could it be? Really freaking hard, obviously. But That's difficult, man. You can tell yourself, no, it's not going to be that hard. I know what you're talking about. It's all difficult. Like, there's so many, like, what are you talking about? You're organizing the weekend. I'm just saying anything. fast food. Sticking with any habit for a year. This is why I'm proud of myself. Even though it's, like, the most mundane thing. Like, I showered every day. There were days I didn't want to. But sticking with any habit for a year is hard. Hmm. So now Mm -hmm. I'm just going to keep on adding in things, I suppose, to my life. Um, Multiple people said their resolution was to not make any resolutions. (laughs) And so they succeeded. But no, they didn't. It's an oxymoron. They yeah, didn't it's a paradox. Just by the, yeah, it's a paradox. That's what it's called, a paradox. It's a paradox. Failure, destined to fail before you even started. Um, a lot, multiple people said they don't believe in resolutions. If you want to do something, just do it. I agree. But sometimes it takes... I'm not a man. No, they're just I'm a different a kind of person. The person. But sometimes it mm. takes trying to hold yourself accountable. Those people are just a different kind of people. Well, I mean, there's different. I was always a person. I like making lists, like for things I need to do before trips yeah, I or do things too. or whatever, and or things I want to do. But mom, like your grandma, is, doesn't believe in just you know listing things that you want or things that, that, that you know stuff like that. Other than Christmas lists. Um, people say they usually stop mid January. Oh no, I start mid January. I'm still like my holiday season's going for a full month. Mid-December to mid-January, I'm like, nah, it doesn't count. <laughs> That's kind of how I am. because starting, we starting February. Because we have Christmas, and we have this, and then we have our anniversary, and so then after that, I'm kind of like, okay, yeah. time to hunker down. Yeah. We gotta eat something good on our anniversary. We got to. We can't eat, you know, yeah. lettuce. But we could get steaks, and steaks with lettuce. Uh, Sounds pretty good to me. Ooh, prime rib. Yeah. Yes. Good old... Something good. Anyone else? No one has stuck to it other than the people who quit smoking, which is absolutely admirable. They set a big goal for themselves. Bookstagram read 100 books. Oh, my gosh. Okay. What's their name? Bookstagram. Bookstagram. Check out their Instagram because I'm curious. I think I'm going to try to read 50 books this year. They don't have to be difficult. They can literally be Hunger Games or Harry Potter or whatever else. What? Animal Farm? Book. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they can be easy to read Seth books. Rogan. I'm not going to have every book like, be like it or something. No. You know, uh, famous people that made it. Comedians like Seth Rogen, they're funny. and they're actually, Are you going to read more this year, you think? The what? Do you think you'll read more this year? Yeah. That's I mean, definitely. I mean, it's all going to be about self-help, though. You like self-help. Like I, the comedy book that I bought yeah. about how to, you know write comedy so I can do stand up mm, I'm that. definitely a fiction I'm more of a self help person yeah young adult fiction fiction romance fiction I do like goosebumps <laughs> yeah, that, talked about. yeah but I mean other than that it's going to be either like a, a comedian or actor well let me know if you lives. read anything good I'll let you know if I read anything good yeah mm-hmm. Camden there's some books I'm I sure might you like I want to once I become the 
the person first set you want. of emojis. Once I the become girl. manic pixie dream girl, written by a girl. Yes, reads books. Yeah, I want to read books. Volunteers with at my coffee shelters. and have my window open all the time. Okay, baby, Get the you daylight. can do it. Just sit outside and read. It's so nice. Trust me. <coughs> sit outside, read, and knit. Pet your cats. Make pretty food. Mm-hmm. Support others. Learn how to make sh- charcuterie. Yes. Okay, we got this. <laughs> I've got a cute little board My over there girl. you can charcuterize. Learn how to. You'd probably like it if I learned how to make charcuterie. Yeah. Because I could make. They don't have to be bad for you. They could oh, no. Like meat and cheese? Yeah, meat and cheese. Keto. I mean, people add more. Like, Olives. They put like avocados in a fancy little rose yeah. or something. You it's can like, do it. Yeah. We have a per baby right here. Oh, so sweet. Oh my gosh. Okay, is. what else we got on there? Anyone else? Lauren is here said intuitive eating instead of dieting. That's, yeah. They did it. They did do it. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's true. It's literally like makes you think, am I actually hungry or is it just lunchtime? Yeah, I know. Camden's kind of tried that and she's realized that. It's hunger. Wait, I'm not hungry. Do I need a snack? Do I need this? Well, I don't snack anymore. Yeah, and that's because you kind of like, that's kind of what it is. It's kind of intuitive eating when you're just like, wait, I don't actually need to eat right now. Yeah. Because before it was just habit. I know yeah. Camden is like the snacking. It's crazy. Yeah. I used to. That I was used the thing you did last year, Bugs. Literally two bags. She for me. No, she stopped it. She doesn't snack anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I used to eat like two bags of chips a day. Remember how Camden would be like, I can't eat this thing without chips. Yeah. Or she'd just sit there with chips all day. Now yeah. she doesn't eat chips anymore. She just eats cheese. Yeah, cheese is good. <laughs> I do. I literally have that's an unopened. Good, good, I have yeah. unopened bags Switch. of chips in my room. No. I eat cheese. I should just put chips. them out. Not your cheese. <laughs> A lot of it is because we had less snacks that were like ready around, mm-hmm. and so I said, "Well, if you want something, there's stuff in the fridge. You know, things you can get." And Cam would be like, "Am I hungry enough for me to have to go get my food?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you actually got to do stuff. It makes it like, you know, when I'm not that hungry. Yeah, I know. You hate that. They really went ramen. I mean, that takes time. <laughs> so you heat up chili. Like three minutes of my life. I'm actually not, though. It's true. Unless I'm like that kind of hungry where I'm like, well, this is perfect. Because if I make the food, then I'll be really hungry and then it'll be ready. Yeah. That's what I do sometimes. Um, As Tech Photo said, still working on my 2015 resolution. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Aztec, seriously relatable. I'm sure they're all the same re- resolutions each year. Um, that was our dryer for anyone asking. If that showed up on there, I don't know if it did. People are saying no. No, um, no, no. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I like that username. I can't say one of those words. Okay. Duck memes and other bleep. Okay. Said, um, my only resolutions for 2022 are study well, excel in my studies, and get a good job. Well, those are really good goals. Yeah. They got good, good idea, Camden. Excel in your studies. That's one of your goals, or at least excel, yeah. you know. Excel in my Do terms. the best you've ever done. Yeah. In yeah. terms of I staying on I top could. of stuff. That's you a good could goal. definitely do that. Do the best you've ever done. Yeah. Try the hardest you've ever done. It's achievable. Except for like kindergarten me. Was, uh, <laughs> kindergarten me was overachiever. Overachiever. Let's say 100. since middle school. Yeah, since since fourth grade. <laughs> because fourth grade is when everything died. <laughs> um, someone said, oh, someone fixed their chronic ear infection. Oh, my gosh. Did you hear that, Wayne? Someone fixed their chronic ear infection. They must feel as amazing as you would feel if you got your stuff fixed. Congratulations. Wayne is hoping to get some chronic issues with his hearing and his sinuses fixed this this year. Yeah. So I'm hoping... That, that would help, like, everything. Yeah. I, I know it's overwhelming. It would help your professional life. It'd help your productivity. It'd help our communication. It'd help everything else. Uh, so hopefully when we're tuning in this time next year, 2023... You'll be able to say, fix my chronic, whatever it is. You'll find out what it is. <laughs> and go yeah. like that. That's awesome. That'd be Congrats amazing. Congrats to them. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Um, someone said they halfway learned how to scuba dive. 
That's okay, all. halfway there. Yeah. Oh, we're halfway I don't there. see that as a failure. If you say you want to learn something. Diving. Yeah. Something, something. <laughs> I don't know. Was he even living on a prayer? I know, but he said he was halfway to his scuba diving goals. Baby. Uh, Baby. Baby. He said, uh, yeah, uh, ate better and ski. Less beer, too. Okay. Living underwater. Good job. Good job. Yeah. By the way, something that's that's catching on that I don't know if it's trendy. We might be trendy, but we've been trendy for a while. Is what it, they were calling it sober curious. Hmm. Have you heard about this? A lot of people do dry January. Have no. you heard about dry January? What is that? Where no, they don't drink during January. No kind of like a detox from the holidays. Uh, alcohol? Yeah, no alcohol. Oh, okay. But there's people that are now thinking about living sober lifestyles, just not drinking, I guess. Because uh, drinking is such a giant part of like millennial culture. and It's really not that hard. It's really not that hard. Stop. Yeah. Like we haven't had a drink in a forever yeah and, and it's just like it's like on facebook the other day it's like would you take three billion dollars but you can't ever have alcohol again i was yeah. like if anybody says yes to that i, I mean, mean like there no are people that, they have real like issues yeah like how could you turn away three billion it shouldn't even have to be billions could to be never i mean it could be a hundred thousand yeah. fifty thousand while we yeah. don't drink but like for two hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I feel a lot better uh, now that I stopped drinking. I think, yeah, no. honestly, I don't know. See, I don't know Cam's generation. But I feel like younger millennials, we're like the oldest millennials ever, we've said. I feel like the younger millennials, maybe they're thinking this isn't worth it. Or they're more health conscious. I hope so. You know. A lot of it, based on experience from like my friends and stuff, it seems like they don't want to do it because they've seen what it does to their parents. Their parents, yeah. So their parents are probably maybe our age or a little older. If the parents um, are drinking, it's different. I know, or... but there's some, she's saying some of their kids or her friends are seeing the consequences that it has on their parents. Yeah, and yeah. their parents' relationships or their that. parents' professional life. Oh, yeah, sure. Or just their parents' whatever uh, functioning, you know. So, yeah, that's that's sad. So I'm hoping that people don't see it as I have to drink to do these things everyone else is doing though it's it is hard like when you were out and people went out after work went out to the clubs did all this other stuff they were going out and doing these things and they're like why aren't you coming out with us yeah you know you're lame they'd actually call you lame or other things like that that's yeah, my birthday yeah you won't leave me alone <laughs> come on i'll buy you a drink i'll buy you a drink i was like listen i don't drink shut up let me alone there's no reason to go to the club exactly when you're married and sober there's but literally also, no reason the thing is like i don't understand you're you were probably what 38 at this point yeah almost 40 why are you why are people trying to peer pressure what are they gaining from this because when, they're still 22 years old i think a lot of people you know though I mean? Want, they feel guilt. I don't know what it is. It's not like the person not drinking is judging you. Go do your thing. I think they feel it like they're... judging. No, but I feel like they're being... They think they're being judged by the person not drinking. Literally, if the person is just not drinking in their presence or not yeah. going out. So they're like, if this person does this with me, then I feel less bad about doing it. So it's something internal with themselves that they're working with. They don't but do trust they me, if someone denies or says no to a drink, or says no to alcohol at a party, we should have said this before the New Year's, there could be a reason they're saying no. And you should never pressure them into drinking. That's not even alcohol. No matter the right? age. It's just going out. Well, <laughs> like, I'm sitting in the hotel room watching Two and a Half Men or whatever, and they're like, come on, let's go to the you know bowling alley. I'm like, no. I know. I don't want to do anything uh, or go anywhere be around anybody. Yeah. I'm, I'm in my place on my bed. I'm content. Leave oh, me absolutely zero desire. <laughs> like, it's warm under this blanket. I'm not leaving. Let's go to the movies. Unless it's for canes no. and we can drive through there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? I just don't like, especially like when I was on my trips, I didn't like doing anything. Yeah. Except for going for my walks by myself in the morning. Well, yeah, you were there to work. Yeah. And if you stayed out late drinking, it affected how you could work. Yeah, and people did that. Yeah. People would come back to the hotel like five in the morning. We started a show at nine. No. Yeah. I'm like, you're going to be all right? <laughs> and I, just and like, it was hard. The whole day. Uh. You said there were some days where these guys just didn't function. 
Yeah. They co were constantly leaving. They were hungover. There's and no you didn't get paid unless you sold. So they were basically there for a party in a different city. Yeah. Not trying to put anybody out there or anything if my uh, boss listens to my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, but I, I doubt he does unless he's you doing it for some sort of rage listen. Uh, but I don't know. But I, I think I that's know. admirable. Even if it's, you don't have to cut down to nothing, but just doing something less that you know is maybe not your best habit. People yeah. think we're weird because we don't have like, you know, like a, a housewife like yourself will have an occasional glass of wine, you know, in the bathtub, you know, chilling. By okay. I'm going to say it right now, but I, I have to like, I'm supposed to have a beer. With yeah. My mom burger. wine culture, whatever this perpetuated yeah. thing of the mommy <laughs> rosé all day or wine o'clock stuff. Yeah. is really hurting women my age because they see it as something fun and something whatever. It's just harmless. But then you have a lot of women my age coming in with like livers that look like people that are much older yeah. because they're drinking every single day. Yeah, because they're supposed to. It's like Yeah, because it's part of whatever their culture, whatever. Ends, as the song goes. I'm, I feel, I feel way, bad. I feel bad. All right, wine is not good. Uh, I've why, tried different kinds why? of wines. <laughs> we and can, I don't know why people drink that. Crap. The best wine is the five dollar wild the vines. <laughs> the wild vines, the the one that tastes like fruit punch. Is that the best but I, wine? No, oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Just because it has flavor. Because it's like. Uh, but you go to the restaurant and you spend like ninety five no. dollars on a bottle, two hundred dollars on a bottle. That's not good wine. It's gross. Yeah. We will wrap that portion up. But anyways, if someone doesn't drink for a certain reason, just don't pressure them. No matter what. No matter what yeah. age you are, there's no reason what for What I've it. noticed also, like my threads and stuff are getting more mature. It seems like the aesthetic of alcohol is like an opposite similar aesthetic to like coffee. Oh, really? Like it's a whole lifestyle. I mean, yeah. It's kind of sometimes people have it as a personality trait. Yeah. I know a lot of people were very upset when they couldn't drink socially. Like, like when wine bars were set, shut down and whatnot. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. But like wine o'clock is like coffee thing, morning. Yeah. yeah, yeah. First, but first coffee, and then yeah. there's rosé all day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know, but coffee's obviously not as bad for you. I don't know, but I do need to. It might be true. If there's something you do in excess, maybe you got to re realize it, and maybe I do need to reassess my coffee drinking. Habits. I don't know if I do it in excess though. Is, are you not supposed to have a morning coffee? You can have a morning coffee. You don't drink coffee in excess. You might oh. be Diet Pepsi in excess. Yeah. No alcohol. And you might be alcohol. anime in excess. <laughs> <laughs> anime in excess. Excess in anime. I might, I might just need to replace some of the Pepsi with water. Yes. Yeah. That's oh, I'm that's planning. one of the things. Yeah. The drinking more water. I kept up with drinking lots of water last year. I've I want to keep up with drinking lots of water. Drink this year. I love drinking water. Like the second this year this started, I've been I drink drinking like... I mean, it counts. It's it water. counts. It's lots of water. cups of water uh, in my body. I definitely probably... I'm down to probably like maybe zero to one Pepsis a day. I don't drink Pepsi every day now. I drink basically water and coffee. Damn, can I know. Can you believe it? I mean, that's amazing. That, means, but Cam damn, Cam that means Camden drinks 95% of our cap our Pepsi consumption here, and there's a lot oh, of it. Crap. <laughs> I don't know your resolution is. Five Pepsis a day. Yeah, less than five. Yeah, a little less that. than symbol. Five a day? Less than five. That's a good That's a good goal to start with. Less you really five. drink one The thing is, I want to start. Zero. Like at night? With, my, with yeah. my manic pixie dream girl written by a girl. I don't think they're addicted to Pepsi. So I can have my coffee aesthetic and yeah. my drinking water aesthetic. Yeah, definitely. I can the be water. coffee and water, and then it'll make coffee also not as bad for me if I detox with water. Yeah, the Which water, is like right? Cups of coffee. I know exactly. That's so what I'm saying. I've replaced it with the coffee. Each other, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Even then, if I only drink water other than coffee, I could probably have another coffee at some point. Black yeah. coffee. Yeah, you're good, Cam. Don't worry too much about it. But yeah, just just drink your water. You're young. We hydro homies up in yeah, here. Yeah, we hydro homies. We have a really good water filter. Mm -hmm. It tastes delicious. It is good water. There is one thing, though. This is my last comment about alcohol. Sometimes you see, like, before and after posts on Reddit or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they're the progress pics, and they're like, the huge differences in these people's faces or their bodies or whatever. And they're like, so what did you do? Oh, I just stopped, stopped drinking. That's it. That's like the only thing they stopped doing. They stop drinking alcohol and they lose like 20 pounds and their faces look just amazing and they look 20 years younger. It's crazy. 
It does do. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It's the opposite for me, I guess. <laughs> well, you are also 20, <laughs> 20 years older. So there's that. Um, anyways, anyone else have any other resolutions that they it's stuck smoking. with or didn't stick with? No. Yeah, lots of people quit lots of things. I think if you quit smoking, it helps. With, like, yes, too. there's a lot of the things. Yeah, so these people who are really like <laughs> making those big changes in life. A lot of uh, our 40 and older fans were calling, you know, being like, New Year's resolutions are immature. So that's that. Oh, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's it can be immature to say, yeah, day one, January 1st at 1201, I'm making this drastic change in my life. Well, that's yeah. hard. But that's hard for anyone to do. But who says like just saying that you have a goal that you want to do something is bad? I don't think it's bad. Old people? I have a friend of mine. His name's Kyle. <laughs> oh. He's the guy from Vine that I mm-hmm. worked, did videos with. I told uh, Kevin this already. He is completely off the grid. Right now, We you won't be able to find him unless you have his cell phone. He deleted every single app off his phone. Facebook, Instagram, everything. And wow. he gave all his passwords to a good friend of his so he can continue to help him with his video. Because he does videos okay. for a living. Okay. But he doesn't watch the videos. Okay. Understand. So yeah. he is completely off the grid as far as social media for uh, the entire year. And he's going to come back 2023 and he's actually documenting the whole entire thing. It's going huh. to be a movie that comes out. That's in interesting. For him. It's a little so this interesting. This is his thing. It's no social media because he is actually like addicted, consumed. He does it for a living like, like we do. So, But he like really is addicted. Well, you're also addicted. You're on your phone a lot. I'm on my phone a lot. Cam's on your phone but a lot. This what we do. It'd be interesting. It's like saying a doctor is addicted to, you know what I mean, learning about It's a health. luxury to be able to go <laughs> off grid. I applaud him that he can just go totally no social media. Like, is he literally off grid, like living off grid? I mean, it's one thing if like... Or is he living his life in his home, in a city, without his social media and his, and his whatever? I mean, he's not going like in the middle of nowhere. Oh, okay, he's no not like in a cabin with he solar power. He just deleted power. all of his apps. And he's going to, like, go fishing and do stuff that doesn't involve social okay. media for a year. I know. But also, it also becomes a luxury if you can ignore these things in a way. Mm-hmm. If I could go off grid and live in my van right now and not have to worry about things going on here, I would. I mean, we did it. What did yeah. we do? In the 90s. <laughs> well. <laughs> we, did, we didn't have any of this. Yes, we did we grow up with this. We lived great lives and we didn't have any of this. So. Yes. It's yes. different. It's different. It now. is different. It's hard to get away from it because it's, you feel like you're missing out on major things when you go away from it. Well, you yeah. are. Yeah, you do. You are. It's not like you feel like you're missing out. You are missing out. I mean, what? I mean, I guess I live vicariously through you guys. I don't have social media. Yeah. I guess. I mean, is he totally not searching the internet? Is he not. What I mean, is he not doing? Like, I'm yeah, curious. Who knows? I don't watch TV. This is how I keep up with, you know, yeah. things that happen. Like Betty White. I wouldn't even know she died if yeah. I didn't have TikTok. That's true. You know what I mean? That's true. Yeah. We don't that's what, that's what, that's what I mean by you are missing know. out. Yeah. I, I know a lot of things I wouldn't know if I didn't have social media. It's different. And that goes to show like the rapid uh, a spread of information, whether it's good information bad information mm-hmm. that's one thing we know information information can spread so rapidly where before we would have had to wait for the evening news to find out that betty white died or the next day's newspaper or whatever else yeah, we're now literally seconds there's the header above everything that says whatever this happened mm-hmm. it's a crazy I do have the desire to be off grid. And one of my things, it's not like a goal or resolutions, but one thing I want to do because it's something like in my life I want to do. But this year I want to try it on a smaller scale. I would love to do a hike where I have to be out overnight. I think I want to try that this year, whether it's a one day hike or whatever. Will you come with me for one day? No, I'm saying just like a one day or two day where you hike in somewhere, you camp. And you hike out. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Can that we do it? Yeah. That sounds like Just, it, ha- it doesn't have to be on a big scale. It doesn't have to be like a major <clears throat> trail or a long trail Just, or any of these, but like a day long, in and out. Yeah. Can we do that? Yeah. That's one thing I want to do this year. Like camping. Yeah, just camp. Like you hike in 10 miles, you camp, you hike out 10 miles. But like a day long. Yeah, like hike. a day. Yeah. 
I'm down for hiking in general. I mean, if it wasn't I know. Like, if there wasn't everybody in the world that was like, I want to go hiking now. I know. <laughs> then I would be hiking. I know. But it's so busy. Yeah, everywhere. this might not hap- happen anytime soon this year, but maybe by the end of the year. And also, I'm ready to start schooling you guys in tennis. Yeah. I said this last year. I think it was one of my things last year, but I think I would like to. Mm-hmm. We did it that one day, and it was really nice. So if anyone wants to come out and play tennis Remember? with me. I'm not a fan of running, but I like walking. Mom, let's do it. What about tennis? Yeah, tennis. We're I could make you tennis. run. The issue with us playing tennis is I'm like, okay, we need to get better at rallying you can back and rally forth. Tennis? No, I'm like, I try to hit it to you guys so we can get a good rally going. And yeah. you hit it all the way over there, and I'm running back and forth like crazy. Yeah, it's fun. Watch. No! <laughs> <laughs> it's me versus the two of you, and I'm hitting it to you. We'll do that this I year. I played tennis in my life. You played it professionally in high school. Not professionally, professionally in high school, you yeah. You know what I mean? High yeah. schooly. Were you on varsity? I was on varsity. That's professionally in high school. I went to right? state for doubles, but it was I, only I was like double A player, Washington State. And you were a professional tennis player. Yeah. I No, I was good back then, but I'm not. I'm 40 now, babe. Yeah, no, I can't move <laughs> like I did when I played soccer. Camden state. should be able to, to us- usurp me in tennis. I did. I did. What do you push- mean? Ten push-ups in the kitchen the other day, and I'm about died. Like, not I'm only saying, doing Camden, the push-ups, but the your next youngness day. and your agility, you should be able to overtake us in tennis. So maybe if we get out you, and play tennis, yeah, yeah, you should be able to do it all. You should be able to. The life, your world is your oyster. Everything <coughs> is in your whatever hands. I'm gonna be manic pixie dream girl. Right Everything, now, girl. Camden. Honestly, this is your year. I truly believe that, Cam. This your is year. your year. And I will live vicariously through you for the rest of your life. So This is also going to be the year. <laughs> Entertain me. This is also going to be the year, listeners, that we get a face reveal. Theoretically. It is. It's I'm be freaking the, the freak out. It's going to be Because the year. Camden is already at 55,000. Yeah. It's happening. And not only is it going to be a face reveal after that, she's going to be in videos, and I'm so excited. She's so beautiful. She's so amazing. You guys are just missing out. I mean, you know. He's that, blind and jaded. That, <laughs> no. I'm deaf. I'm not blind. No, it's fine. Her, I, you, I mean. They love you. It's weird, though. It's really weird. You're It'll be there. really strange for me. I know. People like me. People like me. I really, truly feel supported by your fans or followers or whatever you want to call them but like it's very weird it's gonna be great can you imagine like not being on social media literally no social media ever since its existence and then suddenly being on social media can you imagine that be pretty broke what no i'm just saying how weird i'm just saying like it would be strange um yeah no i I mean it's like doing anything have you imagined Watching stand up and then actually going on freaking stage and doing it. Can you imagine that? I mean, I feel like that's even different because it's like doing something that I don't know. Because people see you. Yeah. And the world is, you know, mean and judgy. But wonderful, thank you. Huh? It's just weird because you guys do it and then I just don't do it. I feel like it's like my thing. Does it feel weird when you're in the background on live streams? No. I can do this type of stuff, like this radio type stuff, the talking, the live streaming. I think I'd be good at live streaming. It's I think crazy because you like stuff, went to but... school for this. Yeah. You, you have a bachelor's degree in journalism. Yeah. Isn't that like being on the news? I did. I did broadcast journalism too. But I kind of started to realize like after, like when I really got down to almost the end, I'm kind of like maybe I would be better off as doing some other thing in this field because uh-huh. it's like overwhelming mm-hmm. in a way. But also I like have very bad hermit tendencies and social anxiety and other things that didn't surface until later in life that maybe affect, I don't know, yeah. my issues. But those are my issues. Being 40 once again. <sighs> Man, I mean, I've had these issues for a long time. <laughs> so, Where was this in that. her 20s? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> it's a new year, though. Cam, I think it's your year. Yeah. Other people, they said, okay, we had another question, and Camden, maybe you can help. Wayne, you can maybe help. If you need advice on anything in this new year, what is it? How can we help? What what could we possibly give advice on? But we might. There might be something we can give well, advice might, on. Maybe. A different perspective than other people. Don't listen to other people. 
like, <laughs> take seriously, this advice. I, I did way too much of that in school, especially like listening to other people about how to dress, oh, how to look, how to act. It's just a thing that, you know, it's peer pressure, I guess. Uh, and just be yourself. Be yourself, but also no one freaking cares. And no, that's what cares. I need to tell myself. Though lots of people really like to judge people on social media because they're like, oh, they think they're so special. Oh, they think whatever. But in real life, going out to the store, going out whatever, doing anything, no one freaking cares. No no one cares cares about you. I don't look at anyone. Even on social media, they're just uh, upset that they're not... Possibly. They are probably terrified to do what you're doing. Yeah, I'm sure so, that. I'm sure for, that. That's why I say don't read the comments. Yeah, other than just yeah. getting rid of ones that you don't want on your page that like are crazy. So it makes them feel better. The insecurity is to, you know, comment. Yeah. And, and you know, that's fine. It doesn't bother me. No. I can't imagine even having the energy to comment on anything. I have never in my life, ever, ever in my life commented something negative to somebody. It's weird to no. me. I've never just thought like... <laughs> you're ugly. Like I've never. Thought well, yeah, especially something head. like that. You're ugly, or whatever else. To or you're stupid. Do that. Or gosh, can't believe you're wearing these clothes, or mm-hmm. something. Mm-hmm. I mean, I might comment if someone says something terrible. The I'd be like, shut the frick up. Oh yeah, I've done like, that. The if they're giving like <laughs> misinformation. Yeah, I've there's, done that. I've called people out on like misinformation, like trying to take down if a whole that type of group of negative content. We never had like trolling. We had bullying. Now we have actual, it looks like bullying, but it's not bullying. It's just trying to be noticed, which is even worse because it's trolling. You know, they're just saying stuff that they don't really mean, but they're just trying to get noticed. So their comment gets like, yeah, yeah. No, you know what I have is I have adults who think they can parent me. Well, Cam, I know, but people have, some people maybe have projected things where they see things like their daughter in you and they want. They think you need help doing that, okay, but trust but me, Camden has, parenting. Camden has two it's loving not parents. Good parenting that they're Camden trying has to do. two loving parents, and we trust Camden to make her decisions I if she needs to make my daughter's decisions. Her views. They're like, take that dress off right now. I can't I mean, like, I feel like Camden should be able to wear whatever she wants to wear. Mm-hmm. You do. You I was able to wear whatever I wanted to wear. I wish I felt confident wearing the things Camden wears. I, I still tell see that every that day. Shitty ass comment. I still see it. I know. Like. Why do you let her wear that? Like, what does that even mean? Yeah, I'm. It's Am I ridiculous. To, like, oh, here, you put on sweatpants and a sweatshirt. We're gonna make a video. I mean, there's some people <laughs> that wouldn't like her wearing sweatpants and a sweatshirt. Like, the they'd be like, "Why Clueless? is she dressed so sloppy? Why isn't she whatever?" I yeah. mean, there's gonna be someone who has a problem with every single thing you wear. The dad on Clueless is a real person. Shay, what are you doing? It looks like underwear. No, no, that was funny. Go back I love that. <laughs> She's like, "Don't worry, Daddy. I was putting on a jacket, and it's like literally a, a sheer jacket, like a see-through jacket. It's so funny." Calvin Klein. Yeah, yeah it, it, but that's the thing. Yeah, like, there are dads that are fine. like that. Oh, I know. Like, if you wear that, you would wear it. Have fun. Feel I mean, confident. Be happy. Them saying, "Oh, you're gonna let your daughter wear that." It's a slippery slope because then you have the dads that are literally making their daughters go through virginity packed ceremonies and photo shoots with them like so there's like a slope and then like the oh you wouldn't let your daughter wear that's like you know the top of the iceberg but don't let yourself fall down there where you're literally yeah you know turned your daughter into you know you're the one that has made it now into something sexual when mm-hmm. you're, when you're going exactly. into virginity and other these weird things that you're trying to impress on your teenager and then the what in the hell are like you look like a prostitute be like what's wrong with prostitutes man <laughs> It's 2020. I mean, but like also just... 2022. It's literally a dress. There is well, nothing wrong with any of the clothes you wear. Yeah. I don't, I don't understand. They're not even sexual No, it's clothes. not. It's not like I'm even wearing lingerie. It says someone wants That's to something say That's something I don't know if I could pull off. I, I mean, mean... I don't know if I have the confidence yet. I really... I just don't get it. I don't get it. I won't get it. Anyways. I, I, I really... I, I, I am thankful that you're on the internet. Not out in as weird as that sounds. There are people that get kidnapped walking to their car from no, but also like I feel safer with you on the internet. (laughs) One thing about Camden, and these people don't realize, is Camden is open with us, and Camden is a really good kid. There are other kids her age that are doing crazy things, yeah, you know, and I don't know what's going on in their life or whatever else, but Camden doesn't do these other crazy things. Like, the craziest thing she does is, I don't know. I don't know. You don't do anything crazy. I, she's if crazy. the clothes she wears is the Pretty craziest boring, thing she does, then 
I mean, she uses a lot of internet data. We go over our our data on our internet maybe every month. That's about it. What are we going to do? FaceTimes. (laughs) So, I don't know. I just really think that (laughs) if you trust your kid, then they'll trust you and they'll be a good kid. But I don't know. Yeah. That's what Not I every think. kid is going to That's be. That's what kid, I believe but... now. Yeah, these, these these videos with me barging into the room when Gabe is over. <laughs> it's it's fun. It's parody. It's not real. We definitely parody. also he, he loves it. Them. He loves it. Yeah, he loves the videos. He oh, came yeah. up with a lot of that video that went viral. If you didn't, uh, yeah, we definitely parody. Well, because it's funny. You like to pretend like you're some overprotective dad. Yeah. And, I mean, you do it even sometimes in Camden, and I just roll our eyes, and we laugh, because it's funny. You're not yeah. like that at all. He wants you to shoot him with a paintball gun. <laughs> Gabe's crazy. That was my character for a while when we were doing uh, skits. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Get back on there. I got it. It's half half. Yeah, I can see that. But anyone who actually <laughs> thinks Wayne has any authority in this situation is just... Uh, <laughs> seriously <laughs> perturbed. No, nah, you know, I blame the being gone for 15 it's, years. You know, I mean, I just don't like want to punish her. I don't blame me either. Or tell her that she's or, doing anything wrong, unless she's doing something wrong. Or have the serious talks or anything but, like that. That's not your place. That's my place, and yeah, you're the fun you. guy. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> I'm the fun guy. I used to hate that. The fun guy. You're the fun guy. You're the fun dad. I'm a cool dad. So, does anyone want any advice from the cool dad oh, specifically? Boy. They took this away. Took what away? <laughs> What's this mean? Like thirty year olds asking, like a sixteen year old for advice on girls. Okay, what well, advice on girls? How to get a girl? <laughs> was, okay, okay. Uh, what says how to talk to a girl four years older than me? Listen, buddy, if you're eight, don't do it. <laughs> well, no, don't do it. If eight. <laughs> but I assume, if you're I assume like, he's twenty four and she's twenty eight, or even like. I mean, even if you're like 14, 18, uh, I don't know. No, okay, so yeah, this is, we're going from adults here, but I mean, once you get to be a certain age. Well, no, age, I'm saying like freshman, senior thing. Freshman, senior. That might be what it is. There's no point, but once you're in your 20s, four years doesn't matter, but just literally don't be weird. Yeah. Oh Talking God. to a person, you literally just have to talk to them, and if they seem like they're not interested, just leave it alone. Especially if they like. I see a lot of interactions online where people reach out and whatever, and they say, and they, oh, yeah, nice talking to you, or I already have a boyfriend, or I'm not interested, and the person then gets angry or something or says something weird. Yeah. No, just let it be. Just let it be. Uh-huh. Yeah. But let it just be yourself. Put out your interests. If they have the same interests as you, then good. If you're interested in them, they might, you know, continue the conversation. But literally just don't let it go on past when, you know, the other person either says yay or nay or yeah. whatever. Um. Okay. Yeah. Normal ones. You can, um, yeah, you can cut, go by any other ones. I don't know. There are just not many. Uh, what do I get my female friend as a gift? Starbucks gift card. Starbucks tall, like the Starbucks. big Starbucks tumblers. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, if you're saying she's like stereotypical girly. I'm saying yeah. like for anyone. I feel like that could go for male, female friends. Yeah. Any friends. Yeah. Everyone likes coffee, unless they don't like coffee. But they cozy probably blankets. said that. Cozy blankets are just general. Yeah, Everyone I was going to say cozy, cozy blankets. blankets. And oh, oversi- food, you can't oversized lose. sweatshirt. Yeah, find out what candy they like. Candy, oversized sweatshirt. Though. Oversized sweatshirt. I feel like that works yeah. for anyone. Uh huh. Oversized If you like know sweatshirt. her favorite show or something, get her like a sweatshirt, yeah. oversized sweatshirt of it. Yeah, something. Yeah, I like oversized sweatshirt. Mm hmm. Um, oh, there's one. Oh, someone said how to start earning before graduation. Well, there are lots. Of, like, So um, if you don't want like a typical after school job. Social media. Yeah, social media or a lot of kids your age are really good at video editing. Yeah, I know. Graphic yeah, if you're design, good at something, art. Um, you can make people's small business. icons. You can make people's yeah. banners. You can um, edit videos for people. I know I hate editing videos. Wayne hates editing mm-hmm. videos. Hate it. That yeah. type of stuff. Or even photography. Editing people's Instagrams. Yeah. with If you have Photoshop or access to Photoshop at your school. Yeah. Like Photoshop costs a lot of money. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people don't have Photoshop. So if you're good at those skills, you can make money doing those things. And you can make a lot of money that 
edit people's yeah. videos. Yeah, yeah. One hundred and fifty, two hundred dollars an hour. And and the kids are freaking good at it. Hours. They really, they're, they're really good, good at they it. Yeah. They know what kids want. They know the type of editing style people want to watch. Yeah. Also, work on growing your own TikTok, your own Instagram, if that's what you like to do. Mm-hmm. Your own Twitch. Tim should be our editor. Small business. Is like Cam doesn't like I doing can it. edit it. I can. No, but I'm, I'm saying yet. your generation is really good at it. And so you instantly um, have a thing. Animations and banners and art and editing and all this type of stuff. Yeah. Um, also, like, I don't know. Once the world gets back to normal, there's things like being a party person. Like, dress up is actually a popular job. And babysitting yeah. is a yeah, big yeah. one. I mean, there's lots of People jobs if you want to go out there. People can get paid a lot for babysitting. Yeah. Nannying, babysitting. Then you don't have to be 18. Yeah. If you are 18, there's lots of opportunities. But yeah, those are ways you can earn before. Mm-hmm. Uh, someone said coffee or tea and the debate. Coffee. Coffee. Definitely coffee. Even Wayne, would, say would coffee, you right? say coffee or tea? Uh, that's hard. How? I mean, coffee all the way, but tea. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne has become a tea drinker, and that's fine. It's weird. more like, for me. I was always a big coffee drinker. Hmm. Now I just drink like one cup a day. I'm like you. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess you also day. have to have I a drink caffeine. Two cups yeah. of tea at night. That's different. You also have some kind of ill effects from caffeine, so you feel anxious and certain things that's like different. that. So that's yeah. why one of the reasons you've cut back to a lot easier, which to is do. fine. And if tea is helping you, then it's yeah, to stop doing drugs. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Well, yeah, I got it. When you, when you, when you, when it becomes not fun anymore, <laughs> yeah, it's easy to quit. Oh, good for you. You know, I actually <laughs> think I'd like tea, just not whatever the heck we have. I mean, I just don't see the point in tea. The very hot. Give packets. me the coffee. Tea doesn't taste know. like anything. It's like hot water. Hot water. Exactly. Hot tree water. It's hot That's tree exactly water. what Camden says. Hot water. Hot we tree don't want water. the hot tree water. Why? Some honey. No, I mean they do. They just like flowery taste. Like chamomile tastes like. No. Honey. Um, it's hard to explain. See, our my brother in law oh. asked for advice on how to try to get organized in the new year. Do you have any suggestions? We've tried it many times in our life. What has worked for organized, us? Organized, like what? Like the just in life, just getting organized stuff wise. <clears throat> my biggest advice, and it's the hardest, is get rid of stuff. Yeah. As much I mean, as not, it is, I'm not the best at organizing stuff. Um. But, yeah. Get, I know like it's counterproductive, but like it's so fun to buy bins, but that like motivates you to organize. If yeah. you get fun stuff to organize with, it motivates you to organize. It does. I mean, if you're organizing like your day, Is that what you make got a me? plan. <laughs> yeah. Make a plan and then just go like, you know, what are you going to do? Part one, part two, part three, part five. I used to do no, that this has to trips. do with stuff though. Organizing stuff. Like organizing like. Really? Like measure your the space you have and make sure you find bins or whatever that use every square inch of that space. Make like piles. if you have 17 inches under your bed, make sure your bins are 17 inches high. <laughs> like literally they make, it makes a big difference if you're using um, every square inch. You take inch. all the stuff and you make piles and you, you do your pile <laughs> of giveaway, yeah. pile of throw away and pile of keep. Yes. And you can honestly get a lot of stuff done yes. that way. And you have a garage always sale. have a giveaway box. Yeah. Like always have a box that you always add to. And that's your giveaway mm-hmm. box. Yeah. And then your throwaway box. You'd be surprised yeah. how much you throw away. I know. And it's disgusting. Yeah. When you see how much you throw away, how many items have broken and they're no longer usable, yeah. things that you spent money on that just like turned to crap, then you start to consider like, wait, why did I spend my money on this? Yeah. It's so sad. then when you get rid of stuff or you throw away stuff, then you kind of reevaluate little things that you've spent but money on too. You so. donate a lot though. We donate a lot of stuff. A lot of good stuff, too. Coffee yeah. makers. Yeah. yeah, or things that yeah no longer really worked in our lifestyle that we <clears> throat> thought throat> would work. And then keep. And then and then you go through that pile. Again, I've yes. got through my clothes so many times. Like, wait a minute. I really don't wear this shirt. Yeah, ever. continue to pare down. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I don't know if I'm too much of a realist for these, but maybe it'll help that I'm a realist. Okay. Uh, I have a lot of experience on these things. Oh, really? I mean, <coughs> like... Okay, so this person said, uh, alien said, I don't have any friends, not one. I think I lack the skill. Can you help me with that? Okay, listen, um, it's not like it's a skill to make friends. Some people will like you, some people will not. It just depends on the kind of person you are. Be yourself and don't be afraid to reach out to people. Like, shocked, but like, 
not many people like respond to people's stories or whatever. So I've literally become friends with people from responding to their stories. That's true. Like they appreciate it and they're like, "Wow, they why did they like actually care?" You know. And because a lot of people are in the same boat of like no one actually reaches out to me, and if they're shy, yeah. they're the kind of person that waits for that or whatever, and you just have to reach out. It's true. That's how. There are also some people in life that just it's a lot of work for them to keep friends. It's a lot of work to keep friends. Yeah. If you want friends and if you want to keep friends, you have to put in work. Because mm-hmm. a lot of people just, you know, it's fun when they hang out, but then when they're home, they're in a state of whatever and they just don't want to put in the, the effort again. So if you want, a, you know, friends where it's like a mutual thing where you both put in effort, you just have to make sure you're putting in effort as well. It's hard. It's like friends are, are a lot of work. There are all kinds of people. So if you keep reaching out like if you like what i mean by stories i don't mean like randomly reply to stories i mean like if you see something you have in common with someone you're like hey yeah you watch that show i do too what's your favorite character or something and sometimes you'll you'll uh, you'll already have a friend list on instagram or whatever and you're liking memes or you're liking whatever's and you say liked by this person you're like oh i never know this person liked whatever random anime kirby Uh video game thing i also like (laughs) and then you message them Yep. And you say, dude, lol, funny, huh? You like, whatever. You like this Kirby meme? Facebook. Yeah. Wow. No, no Facebook. I literally have no friends who talk on Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> you know, like, Perry. Don't recommend friends Facebook. Friends are hard. Our friends are Co-workers the Patreons. Our friends are the people in the Likey live stream. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like, our friends are our family. Uh, my friends Camden and you and you know Fans are family. stuff like that so like I'm past that point though but I understand where I liked having friends definitely in my 20s and it's fun well yeah but you just have to find people that like the same things as you and also want the same type of relationship as you with the same yeah. reciprocation that's of hard. effort that's the hardest part mm-hmm. I'm trying not to give cliche things also a realist for this one um, this says how to show your feelings to someone just do it or don't. <laughs> like, I'm serious. If you're not going to do it, get over them. Okay, so wait. Just how to show... Well, this could be they're already in a relationship. And how to show you care. Oh, I uh, guess so. You know, sometimes it's hard. Do the little things for yeah. people. Like, mm-hmm. make sure you say if they like certain things. If there's only two sodas left in the fridge and they like the one better, then you maybe drink the other one. Yeah. Like little things that show people that, that you care. Little things. Wayne you know? always does the dishes and shows that he cares. He strains up these things and stuff like that. Just little things that people do. I do the dishes because I like an empty sink. <laughs> <laughs> no, is that because you care, babe? I mean, oh, I care damn. at all. But yeah. You don't have to do anything like huge to show No, it doesn't have to be a jan- grand gesture. Or if you're going to visit them, you say, hey, I know that they like sometimes pick mm-hmm. me up a soda or a coffee. Maybe I'll bring them a coffee or reach out and just say, hey, do you need anything? I'm going to the store. Or, you know, they've mentioned a whole bunch of, they've mentioned a TV show that they really like. And maybe mm-hmm. you've watched it too. And, you know, say, hey, I watched that TV show you liked finally. And then you talk about it. Yeah. Like, I think it's just little things. I Though people love grand gestures, those can fail in a spectacular way. Oh, yeah. If you don't know that the other person has feelings as well, there's no point in doing a grand mm-hmm. gesture. Do it when you know you've got that vibe. <clears throat> But you can work that, work it to that point by doing the little things. Um, this person said, do I get the iPhone 13 or 13 Pro? Well, if you have 13 big Pro. hands. No, wait, isn't the Pro the one with the three camera? Is it? Or is the one is the bigger one? Oh. I don't say I'm, I'm not a, that you have to have the big one, but get the one with the best camera while you, I mean, you might as well. Yeah. It's not that much difference. Get the one with the three cameras. Mm-hmm. Unless you don't like, unless you're one of those people that just doesn't take pictures and whatever, then don't. Yeah, but you gotta have the best. Just get the best one. It's not that much difference. Just get the best. Might as well get the most best one. Yeah. Most bestest. Yeah. I don't like the big ones, though. I don't like the big ones either. They're too big for my hand. It's already hard. Um. Let's see. (laughs) Camden's side eye, some of them. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, some of you guys are weird. Um, (laughs) Okay. Here's advice. Don't put anything really creepy in, like, an Instagram DM. Just don't DM creepy stuff. Don't reply to stories with creepy stuff. Unsolicited creepy stuff is creepy. Don't do it. That's my advice for the new year. 
Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, but like the people are like, how do I get girls' attention? That's absolutely the opposite way to get girls' attention. <laughs> I guarantee freaking to it. No matter the age, whether they're 18 or 40 yep. or 60, it's just not it. <laughs> it's not it. I can guarantee it. I don't think any girl has ever been no, turned no on by No, no girl has ever said, oh my God, this guy sent me this DM that either said, show me boobies or was it a lewd pic or i want to freak you so bad and said oh my god love of my life never once ever i don't think so ever (laughs) never ever oh um this person said how to meet a girl in pandemic times i don't well um text People it depends on your age group. masks or airpods as they should <laughs> I, mean, I don't know yeah. what airpods has to do with it i don't know what the app game or the tinder game is like in these times but i think that's what a lot of people are doing um yeah if, tinder the thing about it if you meet someone in tinder there's a lot of girls i know that are open to just like texting for like a while getting to know people and mm-hmm. then when things are going to get better yep you know i also know a lot of girls that are like you know if you're vax and if you're boosted it yeah. could be a go so yeah. i guarantee that'll help your chances I bet so if you're trying pandemic, to meet a girl yeah. in pandemic times i'm pretty sure a booster is going to be hot stuff <laughs> yeah i mean then <laughs> i've heard it from girls hang out. yeah exactly so like if you reach out to someone on instagram starting with text and you're like you vax have vax yeah. yeah let's hang you know it's sexy to be vaccinated i mean yeah i'm pretty sure um Let's see. I don't know what that means. People are asking how to be like me. How to be like Camden. Don't. Camden, I how don't. do you be like you? Here's the advice on the in- advice for anyone. The people you are following on the internet are putting their best things mm-hmm. out for the most part. Yeah. I mean, and there are the, some it's a highlight reel. Though Camden's like stories. Emma Chamberlain, but, uh, but she's I still try. giving her best. Yeah. You know, she's giving her trips yeah. to... Paris and all this other stuff. It's not always the everything. I know, but she's also shows her voice. But Camden's whatever. Camden does show a lot of herself. How to be like Camden? Watch anime. Sleep in on the weekends. Mm-hmm. Uh, fall behind in day. school. Drink diet Pepsi. Drink five diet Pepsi. Roll today. your eyes at your parents a lot. Have a weekly hyperfixation. Yeah, uh, but. I'm just saying, anyone on the internet, how to be like you, it's it's not going to be an easy it's answer. And it's, and it's not like their life I'm is perfect. I'm a person. I'm a normal person. Camden's very normal. Yeah. And we're I all very what, normal and flawed. I don't be pretty, know. super sweet, and hate dad jokes. <laughs> I, I hate don't. My, hate my dad jokes. Camden doesn't. She I don't, like, But though. she rolls her eyes. I just don't care. <laughs> I don't want to hate it. She, she it. is a to be like Camden. You really have to accept people, all oh, people yeah, you of really all kinds. Do have to accept everyone. to be like you is like you accept everyone. Be a feminist. Be an, yeah, uh, an aspiring activist. Yeah, like be don't be afraid to speak your mind. Be prepared to if vote. That's the, what you mean in your first election when you turn eighteen. Yeah, be very prepared to um, vote. Um, stick up for already. people that are like oppressed groups. Mm-hmm. That's how you be like Camden. Sure. And also watch anime. Yeah. Love I'm pretty lazy other than animals. my morals. Yeah. <laughs> like cute things. Yeah. And have an unhealthy addiction to anime and video games. Yeah. And That's how you be like Camden. Make a bunch of videos and then play anime and video games. Yeah. Wanna be, wanna be like Camden. How do, you like be, like... how do you be like Wayne? Is there advice <laughs> for someone who wants to be like Wayne? It's funny. Be out of control crazy. Be 12 years old, trapped up in a 40-year-old man's mm. body. Yeah. <laughs> you know, constantly be thinking about, you know, what's wrong with you. Oh, oh no. no. But at the same time, like, how can I impress the world? Yeah, that's like Wayne kind of just doesn't give a frick about what people think. I think that's that's how you kind of be like Wayne. I used to. Yeah. I don't care. I have given all my F's. You don't care what we think. You don't care what anyone else thinks. No. I don't. And no, because you really don't. Life. Exactly. It is your and, life. And you know, if that that's the way you gotta look at it. Like when you die, 
Well, you know, it's plain. I mean, yeah, only you can live your life, and so yeah. you gotta live it the way you want to. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, to an extent, don't. I mean, yeah, really obviously. <laughs> as long as it doesn't hurt anyone else. Someone said, how can I get to know you better, Camden? Trust me, you know me. If you follow me and you pay attention to my yeah. stories and my Yeah, habits, that's the thing. You if you want to get to know Camden better, literally you follow her stories. You know she me. posts weird stuff sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I go, what does this even mean? What are you doing in your room? <laughs> yeah. uh, what is going on in there? What is this? I don't understand it. Yeah. I'm so old. I don't get I it. Post, but. Also, I have them all on highlights so you haven't missed out. Yeah, there's lots of stuff. Did you see what I posted on my story today? No one understood it. <laughs> That's Camden. That's just me. Camden's just like... Yeah. I look at colors and feel things and like yeah. smell. I'm that person that like can smell colors and stuff. Ooh, you know? really? I didn't know that. Well, I just like... I have a weird view on the world. I don't know. So if you want to get to know Camden more, watch her stories, watch her videos... <laughs> Yeah. Read her comments. Also, I do. I reply to a lot of things that have to do with like things we have in common. I'm not, you know, gonna respond to every hi and whatever because that's a majority. But like, if you're like, oh hey, I like that show, or you ask like, what's your favorite character in that show, or you're like, what's your advice for whatever, I'll answer. Yeah, Ken uh, I really poses do. a lot of questions on her Instagram about what animes or video games to watch and so she interacts with people that way that's kind of a good way to that's probably the best way to get to know cam mm-hmm. or come to our live streams or listen to the podcast those are all good ways to get to know camden yeah yeah also the pod uh, the i mean i swear i'm more talkative um in real life than i am on the podcast though yeah. but on your live streams that's a good way to come people get to know you too yeah um People said, how do you deal with stupid people? You don't. Get X them yeah. out of your life. Yeah, exactly. I was just going to say, stupid people, that way my oh, life Beck this said way. That. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Beck. Just X them out of your life. It's so hard, though, if you're in situations where you work with people that you have to deal with stupid people and you're like, jaw. It's so hard. I, you I've know. seen people, though, like I follow a bunch of activists and they just like excommunicate them. Ignore I mean, them, un- to, unless they have to speak to them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't give them the satisfaction of getting yeah. angry in their face. or yeah, don't let them get a rise out of you. Yeah, do not let them get a rise out of you. They get so bothered when they're trying to bother someone and then the person <laughs> remains unbothered. Like, it bothers them so freaking much. So also, much yeah, if you have to work with them, kill them with kindness. Yeah. That's what I do. But, like, you can also do, like, little, you know, backhanded ways where you're not being mean. You're being nice, but it also is cutting in a way. You'll learn it once you're older. Um. Huh. Camden, is there anything you need <laughs> advice on in the new year? I, I don't know. Nothing? Nothing dad can give you advice on in the new year? Dad? <laughs> what would... Wayne, anything you need advice on in the new year? How do I get up earlier? No, not really. I already know that answer. Go to bed earlier. Go to bed earlier. Um, Exercise and you'll fall asleep. Yeah. Get up earlier, work out. Then by the end of the day, you'll be tired. Promise me. I promise you. You'll be tired. I just got to find something to do. I used to be really tired in my, after my work. Beca- yeah, because you were work- basically on your feet all day working out in yeah. theory. You were, your body was yeah. getting tired. Yeah. Read. You could read to fall asleep. Yeah, I could do that. Because your eyes get tired doing that. I fall asleep reading the subtitles say by the bell. Yeah, and if you fall asleep at 10, you won't sleep past 8. There's no way you'll sleep past 8. You don't know me very well. Or then, I you might. know, set an alarm. Put it right under your ear. Put the vibrating alarm right under your head. Uh, let me see. Real advice. That's good advice. No, that's great advice. You I have guess. to be... I, I understand you can't hear, but Camden also has this issue where she can't wake up to an alarm. There are some times where I do it and then I'm like, it's 5 a.m. Why would I want to wake up at 5 a.m.? Maybe you need to change your alarm times, Camden. No, Set but it. I do want to wake up at 5 a.m. I know, but give it yourself a realistic time but to I wake up. But I do have a 5, 6, 7, and 8, and I only wake up to the 5 a.m. Okay, morning. so put it at 6. Put it at 6.30. 6.30. And say, okay, my alarm went off. Time to get up. Okay. There's no point in going back to get that crappy sleep after so your alarm goes off. So 6.30 is a decent time. Yes. Don't set unrealistic expectations. It's re- it's not possible. Maybe once I get used to waking up at 6.30, I can wake up at 5. I'm sure you could. I'm sure you could. You'll probably gradually wake up because once you get used to waking up at a time. I remember when I used to wake up at 6.30, I started to wake up at 5. Yeah. Or maybe earlier. I remember I used to wake up at like 4.30 and you were like, 
what are you doing? Yeah, you'll get up <laughs> earlier. Like if I set my alarm, I know I know I want to be up by this time. My my body says I need to be up, and I get up like ten minutes before it because I do. There's no point in going back to sleep after your eyes are open. The sleep after that is never good. It's never as efficient. It it feels so good though. I feel like honestly, there's no better feeling than being woken up or waking up and realizing you can still sleep. <laughs> well, the thing is, Cam. You can always still sleep. That's the issue with this type of open-ended schedule. When you were in school, you got up early every day because you know you had to do something. Yeah. When you were in work, Wayne, you got up early because you knew you had to do something. Now, because we're open-ended and it's a juxtaposition and everything that's going on, you don't have any real set, this has to happen or doesn't have to happen I, early no, in the morning. the thing is I have to act like it does. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You have to, I act, have to like, act like... like school starts at 8 Yes, I, that you have to get up and you have to leave the house at 7.30 to drive to school. Uh-huh. So you have to pretend that. And if you then do that, you're going to have so many extra hours, hours in your sitting day. at home. And then yes. I could probably be done with my work before school starts. You could be done with your work before lunch. And then you eat lunch. And then Pro- you have your whole afternoon. Before school starts. Because yeah. I have like four hours before yeah. school starts. You could do it. And then I'm maybe the it. the thing about the payoff is going to be so much better. I'd be able to go live probably two, three times live, a day. You go live. You can finish your things you got to do. Anyways. I don't need a, I need some advice, but I don't know what I need. What advice do you on. need advice with? What are little things I can do in my life to bring me happiness? What little changes can I do to give me little bits of happiness? You need the day? to give yourself more free time. I know you hate the idea of free time, but you need to give yourself more free time. I feel like you I... need to like play Animal Crossing for at least thirty minutes a day. I do need maybe to do we at least can, thirty. Uh, start playing games. Yeah, that's as what a I'm family. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Board games. That'd be fun. Not, not video games. Yeah. Like Racco. Yeah, we, we should do really that. Played Racco. I don't think we there's can... a problem with playing Monopoly video games. Though. I think it's I very fun to, to play Mario no, Party. No, yeah, just have something where I literally don't have to do anything else. You seem to be really happy doing trivia night. I enjoy. So we could do like I that, enjoy those you know, things for with each other. Yeah. You know. Okay. Uh, bra- keep keep your brain you know going you know brain games. Yeah. We'll both play brain games with each other, test each other. I also need to request you guys try to pull me out of funks when I get in funks, mm-hmm. yeah. or when I get on downward spirals where I start to be like, oh, everything is terrible. There's no point in doing Go anything play some good. Crossing right now. You know, like there's no point in this. This is all terrible. You need to be like, nope. Like, stop taking a nap. Do your play thing. Animal crossing. Go. You're gonna feel better if you. Do your treadmill. You're going to feel better if you yeah. drink your water. You're going to feel better do if you treadmill. do this. Yeah. Yeah, when you do when your treadmill or whatever, you, you always like, How oh, are we going to do that? And, <laughs> and take your, you know. After. Yeah. Okay. So, you guys have to do think that. Think about something that makes you feel good. I know. It's hard. Go though. to your happy place, like Happy Gilmore. I don't you have need a, to happy make a happy place. place like happy How do you Gilmore. do it when you have a brain that constantly runs and is constantly talking to you and, and is constantly think about thinking the about that, everything that else? Make you happy. Don't you have it? Your brain is going all the time, right? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Do, is your brain running at a constant loop or is there things going on in the background, like a constant background voice of things you should be doing yeah, or things that are course. going on in the world it's hard to or focus on uh-huh. one thing. thinking about how things were or how things should yeah. be or just uh-huh. everything terrible in the world all at once going on in the back of your brain? Uh-huh. Yeah, but I have ADHD. I know that, but I, I think yeah. there are people that go through this world without that. I think there what? are. I think there are people that genuinely just live life in the moment. You mean are not constantly intrusive thoughts? Yeah, intrusive thoughts, negative thoughts, no constant way. mind running, constant no. No talking way. to yourself. No. I saw this really funny video where the guy's like standing on the balcony and he's like, dude, you should jump. You know, it's mm. like the other person, but it's him. And he just keeps doing like different scenarios and I'm like, intrusive thoughts. Mm-hmm. They're the worst. People are like, do drugs. You don't think about anything. They're the worst. <laughs> and that's why I think probably one of my things this year is I do need to go see a doctor or someone and maybe they'll to prescribe something well, we to should me. Do game don't night. get antidepressants though. I ha- I've been on antidepressants before do and that. when I got I had to get off them because oh. it makes you into it makes life interesting. You don't care, you aren't sad, but you also just don't care. But that's a bit scary. Yeah, it is a little bit. It's scary. a little scary. I would rather care about yeah. dying than literally not care about I mean dying. It. Yeah. Like, you just don't care. Like, you can spend I'm money going. without caring. You can literally lay in bed all day and not care. The house gets dirty around you. Like, it's no different <clears throat> than depression, but you're not depressed, but you're just kind of, like, I'm existing. Going. I'm going Snoop Dogg, Wiz Khalifa what? this year. What the hell? I yeah. am. 
That's weird. I was on Paxil and that's uh, so weird. Well, how do you make so it just a little different. less? So that's what I'm wondering. That's maybe I just didn't have the right thing, the right combo. But I do think things that help my depression more than pills ever have been are things that are harder to make yourself do, like diet and exercise and trying to be happy. And I know, but also eat I'm better. literally saying eat better. you don't give yourself Work enough out. time. Even Play the- games, marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, the key to happiness. I don't yeah. know you tell me to do this, but like you watch, uh, you were happy when like you did like Minecraft stuff and whatever, yeah. and you could start playing with that again, and then like... Like, watch videos on stuff you like, not, like, having to watch productive stuff while you're taking a break. Yeah. Because you surround yourself with productivity. Yeah. And only or productivity. trying to focus on people and being productive. just remember that mm-hmm. you're beautiful and amazing and you have an awesome daughter. And I do okay know that. husband. Oh, please. And life is going to be good. I mean... Life is good. I yeah. like myself. It's not about that. And I like my family a lot. I bet, I bet outside factors no, I always it. feel like they're crushing. It's also, life. I have anxiety. Yeah. Your depression is my anxiety. Yeah. I'll just be sitting there, all of a sudden everything's good. I'm like, <gasps> you know what I mean? Yeah. Comes out of freaking nowhere and it's annoying. We should make this How the year of mental health. It's a mental health thing and it How might be medication. Panic attacks. I think it's better to, to be and happy than like not from? get a project done. Yeah. Because happiness. If you get a project done, then you're depressed anyway. <laughs> well, sometimes in my brain, like, if I did this, I'd be happy. And then I'm like, I'm too depressed to do this thing. And then it's like, if I do this thing, I'll be happy, but I never do it. Stuff like that. Yeah. And then you feel mad at yourself because you never do the things that will make you happy. That's what I'm and saying. And you're stuck in a spiral. That's what I thought about New Year's resolution. Yeah. Because I'm like, then I get depressed yeah, if I don't do happy, it. For sure. Yeah. Like, it makes me happy to be doing stuff that's going to go out, you know, like this rap. Well, good. Making the I'm beat, proud of you. Making the lyrics, you know. Yeah, it's we'll fun. make. We'll try to do more things. We need to do that. Some more things that make us happy. It feels like I accomplished something other than just like beat a video game level. <laughs> that, that, that doesn't feel like an end of the day accomplishment. Yeah. yeah sometimes Play Breath of the Wild, and you will feel that accomplishment. I could. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you replay you Breath of the Wild? I, can't, I should. I can't pass the damn else beginning where you're supposed to jump off the cliff. I can't figure it out. No, oh, babe. <laughs> he's like, go get a parachute Babe, and jump off the cliff. Do the I'm walk like, through. I don't know where the parachute is. I quit. <laughs> he's my glider. I quit Breath of the Wild the first five, <sighs> ten minutes of the game. I haven't played Breath. Of I couldn't the find the parachute. I, I, quit. I wish I could play Breath of the Wild for the first Push time again. I yeah. literally wish I could play it. I probably it's. I don't remember it all now, but I wish I could just get that first time playthrough again. Mm. Get the other one. First time, Hundy. I gotta do it. I gotta do all the my. other one. The other one just came out. It didn't come out yet. Breath of the I Wild mean, Two didn't come out. I mean, yet. it didn't come out, but it's already been out. But they redid it again for the Switch. Which one? Uh, help me. There's help a lot me. of them. I mean, I need to do Majora's them all. Mask. Uh, what, what's Wind the Walker. Yeah, yeah, Wind Walker. Maybe that's. There's it. all of them, man. Some of them are so hard. Exactly. But yeah, I'm that's on. It's on a bucket it. list. It's a bucket list item for me. Do all the Zelda. I can be in our van playing Zelda, beating Zelda, and living my best life. Oh yeah, my you got the old one there. Off you. grid, just what like this we, guy is doing. Oh, wait, hold on. When can we like realistically van live? No, no. It's called Skyward Sword. After you're done with Skyward school, maybe. Sword. Mm. Skyward Sword. That's the one that's out. That's not that Which far away. A, a remake. Cam, you gotta buy us a van. I, and then we van life. Okay. <laughs> How much is a van? It was somewhere else, yeah. right? You have to build it. I'll build it, Cam. I will do free labor. I'll do all the building. I'll get all the stuff. You buy the van. I just have to buy the van. Yeah. How much is a van? Yeah. Forty thousand to sixty thousand, depending on your van. It was on, maybe it was twenty thousand. I know, but if it's your house, then that's a good deal. It was on the Wii, you know. It's on the Switch. And I don't think we ever played it, so it'd be like a new game for you. I know. There's lots of new games, and I need to still finish, and I might have to start over because it's been so long, but I started on our Nintendo emulator or whatever, our Nintendo Classic. I started the first one. Where's the game and watch? Yeah, and I got to do the game. You got the game and watch for Christmas. I know, babe. Three. I'll be playing Zelda forever and ever and ever. Your eyes playing that game. The screen's the size I know. Of Actually, this year, I might need to go get my eyes watch. checked. I think I might need glasses again. I guess it's like game and watch. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Uh, Another podcast. We are ready for 2022. We're getting there. Mm -hmm. It is 2022. I know. I said we're ready for it. It's freaking here. We better be freaking ready for it because it's not going back in time. Freaking ready. Freaking ready. So not ready, but it's here. I'm going to. I'm ready. I mean, we're ready. What else are we going to do? I'm dispensary shop tomorrow. (laughs) I'm dispensary shopping tomorrow for all my needs. 
And what then, are the ne- I'm and this is good for anxiety and this is also good for uh, uh, creativity. Gummy? I'm pretty sure now I've go, come like, to this point. You know, I think I'm a person that, that it doesn't affect at all. Huh? Isn't that shrooms? What is shrooms? Creativity. Of course. Don't we have to go to you know, Oregon? Oregon's creative. Or Oregon or somewhere for the <laughs> the shrooms? What? Anyways. Yeah. Who? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Warheads? What? <laughs> <laughs> I love warheads. Yeah. Oregon. Yeah. So our next podcast is going to be our newlywed, but newlywed 17 years at later game. 17 years. Oh, yeah. So that'll, that'll be, be our fun. next podcast. Yeah. I think. I will be the leader. That's yeah, be like a game will be show. Running it. Yeah. Is it a podcast on anniversary? No, no, I'm, I'm just saying that'll be our next one. Wait, fortieth? We'll or no, it's going to be other one. But we'll do a okay. we'll do an anniversary podcast. I'll for start 40-ish. it off. I'll be like, we'll welcome everybody one. to Newlywed. <laughs> we can't do anything, but maybe we can find some really good food to get something yummy maybe that they we can deliver prime rib. We can, yeah, we can order some prime rib. Texas Roadhouse Uber Eats. And then maybe. I know we said kind of New Year's, but I think the Wayne Butler roast might be better served on Wayne's birthday. Yeah, perfect. Like, you know, on their birthday, isn't that when people get roasted? <laughs> so on the roast, I... But uh, but you know what? Every roast, like Justin Bieber, yeah, I brought back Bieber, whoever you want to talk oh about. Oh, my God. You guys have easy roast. Every roast, at the end of the roast, they return the favor. Yeah, that's, so what, that's that. what I said. The roast is kind I of I'm also writing my roasts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know I can ro- I could roast myself all day, babe. So maybe I'll give you some good, some good stuff. I mean, I can't roast you. Either. You can easily roast you, me. It's hard. <laughs> no, it's so easy. I figured so out easy. I'm, gonna, I'm going to spin three, and then I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll be able to. <laughs> and think. then you're getting roasted. Uh, so we got some good stuff coming up on the podcast, and our listener base is going up. And share it with people who you think will like our family podcast. We're just us. We're yeah. no one special. Yeah. Just talking about crap. Right, Cam? Crap in a podcast. Crap in a podcast. Crap ish. Crap ish. Crap ish. Family rambles about life and other things. Yes, exactly. But I, I'm not going to lie. I've listened to some other podcasts and they're terrible. They're not crap ish. They're like full blown. How? So, I mean, they're How can just you listen- be bad at talking? Some people like. I mean, and these people are doing stuff with their lives. Like, they're going out and clubbing, and that's what they think people want to hear everything. It's, like, it's just the same thing all the time. I went to a bar. I did this. Eh. I don't know. Eh. 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 All eh. right. I guess that's it for this week, this episode. We'll be back soon. See, See you, you soon. Next week. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye.